Uh, hello everyone, my name's Lane, and welcome to the second vlog. There's nothing much that I want to say, honestly, because, well, rather than I moved my house, not in my boarding house anymore, I'm in my uh, parents' home right now because of the current affair that is happening around the world. And we're going to continue what we left off in the uh, previous video. Now we're going to discuss more about cassette tapes and why is it getting a revival in this, um, digital era. Well, before that, I'm going to talk to you guys about the history of cassette tapes. It was in around 1960 when Philips, an electronic company, yes, that you guys are probably familiar with like bobs and anything, was developed some sort of analog music format for, well, listening, of course. And it was called the music cassette. But then around, almost in around 1970, I think, cassette tape were used for, well, distributing music. It gains a lot of attention with the um, general market. It gains a lot of popularity and because of how small and compact the uh, format is. But there's still lots of other uh, audio format that try to rival cassette tapes, but most of them failed somehow and then in around 1980s until the 2000 the um the market for cassette tapes were getting declined because cd was introduced during that year so everybody was kind of switch over to cd and then cassette tapes were getting uh, less interested by anyone cd offers more high quality because it's digital of course cassette tapes have some flaws but but nonetheless people kind of love that thing despite cassette tape being overthrown by uh, cd i guess in the around 2010 it kind of declined too because of digital music <laughs> so yeah every format have that uh, ups and downs and all sorts but it's fine it happens now on to the um, today's era in the future see you can see the cassette tapes and vinyl are getting a little bit of revival even though the uh, sale were declining because it kind of switch over the position these format are having most music label right now didn't have to rely on physical format because they can earn money from digital now and these uh, music label are mostly from independent label record you know a smaller scale label record not like major label record like maybe in Indonesia probably uh, Aquarius or maybe um, what else? Uh, musica or anything. But it's much more smaller, smaller um, independent label record that mostly sell this uh, physical format like cassette tapes, vinyl, and anything. So basically, the position for this um, music, physical music format is pretty much as a merchandise now. That's pretty much it. That's how the uh, this uh, physical format is revived because they switch over the position as a merchandise but i think uh, there's actually some um popular artists in the west that took advantage of this uh revival this uh, physical format revival like last time i saw there's a selena gomez cassette tapes on the internet but i'm not quite sure and there's this uh not so popular artist called stephen wilson and he also sells cassette tapes and also vinyl and everything even so the uh, st the sale for this physical format is getting rise and rise again so many people also attracted with this uh, physical format because how interesting this thing is so I already told you guys about the history of cassette tapes with along with other um, audio format and also their position in this current era despite all of that i think uh, cassette tape is getting more uh, getting popular again just like the golden age of the 80s and 70s and that's pretty much a good thing because well with the with the help of the current trend that's been going on around people it's really interesting that they getting interested in cassette tapes and other format like 
It basically tried to push people to appreciate music more than just listening to it. So you appreciate someone's work by owning their physical album. You know that owning a physical album has some kind of special feeling in it. Like you really, really support those uh, people. You really, really want those people to make more music. It's just, it's just a great feeling, really. And it's great. Well, yeah, I guess that's it that I want to talk about. And I'm not sure about the topic that I would like to talk about on the next vlog. I'm probably going off with the uh, music stuff. I'm probably going to talk about gaming. Well, it's a it's going to be a hot take, but I can manage to do that. Well, guys, uh, thank you for watching. My name's Lane. Until next time.